What is up everybody? It is Infinite Legs here today with another reaction video. Today we are doing Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League official Justice League trailer. Uh, no more heroes. So yeah, this is the Warner Bros. trailer. I saw that um, PlayStation and Xbox also both put out a trailer for this, and they're like a little bit shorter, but I watched like the first 10 seconds, not even the first 10 seconds, like the first five seconds, and I discerned that they're the same trailer. I, at least I think I do. I just, I put it on mute, and I looked at the first like five seconds just to make sure they're like the same trailer or different trailers, so yeah. Um, I haven't really paid attention to this game too much, honestly. Um, it didn't seem like something that would interest me. It seems like kind of um, another Avengers game. Like, it seems like that's how it's going to end up being, especially with all the problems that it seems to be having. But who knows? Maybe those problems are, how you say, over now? Maybe fixed, hopefully, because they've, like, had time to get it together. That's what I... That's This is what I'm hopeful for is that all these game companies with all of these um failures that they've had recently with unfinished games or games that just don't meet the mark i would say that i hope they actually do learn and take their time making these games so that's kind of why i'm not too upset about gta 5 coming out in uh 2025 and how i'm not upset about elder scrolls 6 coming out in 2030 i, d I don't know if it's coming out in 2030 but that's probably when it's coming <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, because they'll probably make another Fallout or two before they even bother to try to make another Elder Scrolls. And they'll try to make Starfield 2, too. Which I heard, like, Starfield's ass. So, eh. But, um, anyway, we're not here to talk about all that. We're here to see about the Justice League and the killing of by the Suicide Squad. So, let us go ahead and get into this in a three and a two and a now. Flash, Lantern, Bat, Superman. Let you live among us. Now your friends are slaughtering the people they swore. I'm a guess that's Amanda Waller. Batman. See, Rocksteady has good games. Superman. My Justice League will burn this earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. Damn. Finally, someone let me out of my Gorillas? Okay, so this is now looking more like the Guardians of the Galaxy of the Suicide Squad. You think you're a team now? You think you can stop us? Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> He's the fastest man alive, according to all these girlfriends. In a bad young useless, not for long, the future is coming up. Oh, that was Jon Stewart! Man, I love Jon Stewart getting some respect, even if he's a bad guy. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Great song choice. All these games are coming out in February. What is going on? That's so cool. Second of February, huh? All right. Yeah, because freaking... That is so cool. What did I just watch? I just watched Skull and Bones. That comes out in February as well. And another thing comes out in February. What is going on? <laughs> oh, snap, crackle, and pop. All right. Well, that looks really fun. I now actually am kind of excited for that because that looks kind of like DC's version of um, the Guardians of the Galaxy game, which was fantastic. 
I, but it looks like we'll be actually be able to switch between the other, these other characters, maybe? Or we'll be following Harley Quinn as the main, like, person, kind of how we did uh, Star-Lord for that game. But either way, that looks fantastic, honestly. I have, It looks fun, and I always love evil Justice League stories. There's not enough of them, in my opinion. Not, like, in... Me like film media or game media like there's plenty in comics of course because it's the comics but yeah <laughs> well yeah that looks great i don't really have much else to say about that i love the voice acting on all of them they all sound great um i don't know if the voice actress for harley quinn has done her before um but it's it seems like most people kind of get got the harley quinn accent down at this point so that's pretty awesome um and I love getting Hal, uh, not Hal Jordan, John Stewart some respect because I feel like he's not in enough projects nowadays, which is ironic with the state of the world. Because <laughs> like, he is one of the best Green Lanterns, and we've never seen him in like anything besides the animated like movies and shows. And he's like so underrated. He's such a good character. Like I enjoyed him so much in the uh, the Justice League show, especially when like we see into his like life with the neighborhood that he grew up in, talking to his barber and his old teachers and coaches and stuff. And then he's on trial for murder somehow. <laughs> That's a great episode. You guys should check it out. I'll um, put the name of the episode right here, and if it's in Justice League or Justice League Unlimited, and it'll be right here because that that is worth the watch. It's so good. But I'm rambling. This has been a long video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed. But uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great evening, day, and night. And uh, don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And uh, yeah, I will see y'all in the next one.